Oh, okay, then. But they're, but they're not safe. Wait a minute, what? They're not safe. That's not the point. Of course it's the point. That's not because the point. Because every time... No, it's not. Okay, not listen, listen. Point. You can say what you're Nobody saying. Nobody's safe. Hey, hey, man, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Crazy. You can, okay, you think I'm good. But <laughs> if you read the book of Acts, which I hope you have, you realize that the apostles were preaching to people to come to the Lord in the synagogues, but they had their own fellowship meetings. Do you agree or no? Were they teaching Moses in the synagogue? Of course they preach Moses okay, in the then. synagogue. But, that's the no, topic. but, but, but stay, stick, with what I'm, stick with what I'm saying. You're, yeah. you're running right now. That's the point. You just ran. Uh, okay, how you just ran from that point. Okay, what, what's your point? Listen, what's your point? You just told me to read verse 21. I, I read told verse you to read. 21. Now, now can, why, can, why, can why, why did I tell you to can read I, that? Can I finish? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You just told me to read verse 21. In right. verse 21 it says, right. they read out of the book of Moses. Right. Friend is in the book of Moses, correct? Right. So why aren't you teaching them that? That's because I'm telling you, you're reading that verse 21 uh -huh. as if God, as, if as if they're telling people to go into those synagogues oh and learn. I'm not reading those verses like that. The reason I'm re the reason why I'm I, uh, th this verse is saying what it's saying is because they're saying that the Gentiles that are coming to the Lord, we're not going to put any burden on them. They're coming to the Lord. This is all we're instructing them to do, and it's this. Okay, if they want to learn about other stuff like that. They're talking about that in the synagogue if they're they want to learn, it. but it's not a requirement. It's not a requirement. No. If it was a requirement, listen, if it was a requirement, they would be saying that right there. And, and I want to, and it says very clearly, we don't give any other instructions. So if it was so important. Where does it say that at? Hallelujah. Because you said a lot of things that, you didn't read one Bible verse this whole time. Right. That's what I recognize. Right. Yeah. You got Amos no 9? Can no I read a verse while you, uh, are you going to look for that first? Yeah. yeah. I want to read what he quoted. Can I read this? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to read what he quoted in Acts. Read. Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. Do you know what the tabernacle of David is? Yes. What is it? Hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. The tabernacle of David is the house of the Lord, of David. That's going to be a house of all nations of no, prayer. No, yes, it no, is. No, no, it's no. going to be a place where all no, nations sure. can come, and the mercy of God is there. The that's grace not, of the Lord is there. It is. Yes, it is. Let's finish this. Let's see what it says. Read. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen. So the house of the Lord fell? What is that talking about? Is that where all nations were? Hold on. See how the Lord works? <laughs> See how little words you don't want you talking. Read that. And close, check, 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 check. One, two. And close up the breaches thereof. Close up the breaches thereof. Is this talking about where all nations as well? Okay. No, it's not. Okay, so wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, go back, go back. So the tabernacle of David is what? David ruled over the northern and southern kingdoms. Okay. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about no Gentiles here. That's crazy. Exactly. It's not talking about a building either. It's talking about the nation of Israel being reconciled back to the Mosai. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is that David's and uh, Solomon were the only two kings that had both kingdoms under their jurisdiction. Read? Check, 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 That's what he's talking about. Read on. And I will raise up his rules, uh -huh. and I will build it as in the days of old. Wait a minute. He's going to build people to have Gentiles come into the tabernacle of David as the days of old? Check, no. Check, check. That's not what it's talking about. Read. Check, check, that check. they may possess the remnant of Edom. He's talking about possessing somebody, putting it in captivity. Read. And all of the heathen. Uh -huh. Which are called by my name, saith the Most High, that doth this. That's what he's quoting in Acts. It's not talking about Gentiles coming into the fold. Can you just give me one second? Sure. Give me Acts 11. And uh, I think it's 18. Most High, zap that real quick. And give me um, Revelation 14. Since he didn't instruct these particular people not to keep the law, but everywhere else it says the people keep the law to be. Um, Acts 3, 11. This is saying, check, 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 one, two. Acts 11. The only law in the Bible. Of course. So you're only talking about Mosaic law? That's the laws of God, correct? Well, you got the Mosaic law, you have the Ten Commandments. That's part of the Mosaic law. Is that not part of the Mosaic law? But you guys are only talking about the ceremonial No, we're not. No, we're not. Every law under Moses. Every law under Moses. Is that what you guys are talking about? I'm sorry? There's no classification in the law of Moses. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no separation. 
Just because he called the ceremonial law doesn't mean the separation and the rest of the law. What are we doing? You might speak around a battery. We're not classifying anything. We're calling it the law of Moses. Everything of Moses brought down to the Israelites. That's the law of Moses. Okay, go no, ahead. His, his mic's going to send it back. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, my battery's preaching at somewhere else. My battery died. We're going to get another okay, one. Okay, not but a problem. We can, we can uh, talk without the battery. Yeah, it's not a problem. Okay, I, so, I don't think I need okay so explain the, the tabernacle of David again. Uh, read that again. Now they're talking about the tabernacle. Amos 9 and 11. In that day. No, no, you said it was something else, sir. You said it was what? No, I didn't. I said it's a tabernacle. For all nations to come and, and, and worship the Lord. Okay. okay. But David didn't build a tabernacle. Or did he? Did it, didn't the Lord say, My house would be a house of prayer for all nations? That's not what Amen. 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 Yeah. Isaiah 2. Isaiah 2. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He just quoted a verse in right. Acts chapter 15 that said that this is going to be a place for the Gentiles as well. That's not what, that's not what it said. That's so, what, it said. What, what does it say in Acts chapter 15? That's not what it said. It says, even all the Gentiles over whom my name has been called, thus says the Lord, who has been making these things known from a long ago, so that all people may seek the Lord. So he's saying, I will rebuild the tabernacle of David, which has fallen from its ruin. I will rebuild it, and I will set it up so that all other people, or all nations, all people, they seek the Lord, oh, yeah. Yeah. even Amen. all, Everyone. even all the Gentiles. Amen. So, 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 so that's why I gave you that answer, which is true. You can quote from Amos chapter nine in a certain context, which is fine. But I go by the whole Bible. The, the whole Bible makes it very clear that this, the tabernacle of David, will be so that all other people, all nations, may seek the Lord. Now, are you telling me? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You, you're doing a lot of asking. I'm gonna ask you. Are you telling me that there's nowhere in the Bible where the Gentiles, other nations, are worshiping at the temple of the Lord? Of course they did. There is. Okay. So. So let's go back to the tabernacle of David. I don't know what you're not understanding, but it says here. Listen. So that. All other peoples may seek the Lord. So if the tabernacle, hold on, you asked me very clearly and I gave you the answer and I'll say the same answer. If the tabernacle of David, yes, of course, he's speaking primarily to, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stick, speak with me. Speak with me. Don't run. You're running now. You're running. You're running. You're running. So if the tabernacle of David is for the northern and southern tribe, all of Israel, I agree. That's the primary objective. It was so that God, Jesus said, I come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We're not rejecting that. I'm not denying that. Israel is God's chosen people. Nobody can say otherwise. You agree? Of course you agree. But that doesn't negate the fact that other nations have all come to that same temple and worship. And God welcomes their worship. And I'm gonna prove that. Turn with me and read Acts chapter two in a Hebrew Israelite voice. No, I, this is my point. This is my point. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running, man? Don't run. Read Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, please. Verses four down to verses eleven. Can you read that? It's the book of Acts. Chapter two and verse four. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other, yeah. with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Okay, stop for a second. Do you speak with other tongues? Did you learn that or is that a spiritual gift? Do you speak with the Holy Ghost tongues? 
First Corinthians. You don't know what that is? Go ahead. You don't know what that is. You're a Hebrew, right? You're a Hebrew, right? That comes from God. And you don't know what's speaking in tongues. What's tongues? You tell me, Hebrew. Because I know. I'm running. What is it? Okay, so you want me to tell you now. You told me to teach you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you. Let's teach you. I'm going to cut you now. All right. Let's go to the Greek word for tongues. Here you go. That's a hallelujah. Okay, well, let, let's finish this verse and then we're going to go and deal with your. Yeah, you don't want to go there. That's crazy. What are, the, what, are the, what are the tongues? What are you talking about? Okay, let's go there first. No, what are the tongues? It's just that I'm about to school you on Acts chapter 2. But I, I just I don't know which one to school you first. Do I school you on tongues? It's easy. Or do I school you on Acts chapter 2? It's faster to go with the tongues. So you want to go with the tongues? Bring the tongues first. Go to tongues. Corinthians chapter 14. Go there. Great. They can choose which one you want to go to school about. Sure. Yeah. Read, read what you got. No problem. I'm just pulling it. It, it, it improves what it is. Hold, holding that Bible. Is that jibber jabber y'all say is not speaking in tongues? That's okay. Read, read That's verse 2, please. Go ahead. Whoa. First Corinthians 14 and 2. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Say that again. Speaketh in an unknown tongue. Say that again. Speaketh, speaketh not unto men. But unto no, God. Speaking no, uh, unto who? Unto God. Not uh, unto who? For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit. For he that speaks an unknown tongue speaketh not unto who? Howbeit in the spirit. Are you speaketh. following me? But unto men unto God. We read that, read. Say it again. But Say it again. That prophet. Run it. Run it. Run it. They're running. They're running. They're running. Good job. I'm just playing your stupid game. Stop saying I'm running. And I won't say you're running because you guys do that all the time and it's stupid. You see how stupid it is? So, so why, don't, why don't we how play fair? Listen, every time you're going to say I'm running just because I don't answer exactly what you want to do. Listen, don't run because I'm not running. So let's focus on the tongues. First Corinthians chapter 14, verses 2. So read it one more time. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. What's an unknown tongue? You tell me. I know. Do you want me to answer you? Do you want me to answer you? Foolish. Answer it. Okay. An unknown tongue is a spiritual language that God understands. Yeah. 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 Show that in the Bible. I just did. We both know English, right? Show that in the Bible. Oh, you know what? He's not doing a good job. Here. I will read it. It says, He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto man, but unto God. But unto God. That's called private interpretation. For no man understands him how be in the spirit. Somebody say in the spirit. In the spirit. He speaks the mystery. When the spirit gives me utterance, I can speak. Yes. Because that's the right tongue. What does it sound like? Is anybody doing over here? It does. Anybody in the spirit? In this? Listen, why do you in Christ around here? He's a mock. He's crazy. He's, he's now blaspheming the, the Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. You know why? Because you're mocking. You're mocking the Spirit of God. You're forcing it. Anyone can heal. Anyone can prophesy. Show me. Show me. That's what they did to Jesus. Do you know what they did? Prophesy. Prophesy. Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? That's what you sound like. That's the devil. That's the devil inside of you. I'm not blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Repent. Repent in the name of Jesus. I'm not blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Don't be Jesus tempting the Lord our God. Now go on, I'm going to explain the tongues to you. Young man, I'm going to explain the tongues to you. Do you want me to explain? Are you running? Yeah. Let me explain. So the Bible says very clearly, he speaks not unto men, but unto God. Now I'm going to prove something to you as you go down. It says in verses 4, he that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself. But he that prophesies edifies the church. And it goes on. I'm going to read down in a few other verses as well. It says here in verses 13. Wherefore, let him that speaks in an unknown tongue. Somebody say unknown tongue. Unknown tongue. Unknown tongue. Pray that he might interpret. For if I pray... In an unknown tongue, somebody say unknown tongue. Unknown tongue. My spirit prays. Somebody say spirit prays. Spirit prays. So what is tongues? Your spirit is free. Amen. Amen. Get your Hebrews for like to, to read it. Verse 13. Can we go to the Greek? Can we go to the Greek? 
Reverse the economy. Let's give it a great return. Let's see what that says. No, no, no. Don't, 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 don't run. Whatever because means, tongues right. is a general word called glossalia, which right. means languages. Exactly. Unknown so, language. language. What's an unknown language? You make that up. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we know what the word is in Greek. I just told you. Am I right? It's tongues, right? Language. Gl glossalia. Language. Is that the word? Language, yes. Of course. Is that the word? Do you know or do you want to check it? Glossalia. Glossalia. You're saying it wrong. Do you even know Greek? Glossalia. Glossalia. G-L-O-S-S-A. -S That's what it says. Okay. Anyway, do you know Greek? I, I can go to the Strong's and Strong's recorded. That, that's... that's that's not knowing Greek. Do you read Greek? Do you know Greek? I don't read Greek verbatim, no. Okay, I do. Okay, yeah. I've taken four years of Greek. Okay. And exegetical Greek. And one thing I can tell you about this word and what this is, this is unknown tongue, and it says clearly they're praying unto God. Do you want to know that, uh, you want to look in there and see what it says? For what? About I praying know. unto God? About what? In the, in the Greek or what? Anything. Go ahead, read that. This is G1100. Glossalia. Not the word glossalia. We're going to read this. Okay. The tongue, a member of the body, an organ, speech, languages or dialects used by a particular people distinct that of other nations. That's what it's talking about. So, if, 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 if nobody can interpret what you're saying, what language is that? Can you tell me what language that is? Okay. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know if we're speaking that. Hold on a second. I don't know if we're speaking the same language here, but when you when you interpret a verse or a word, you got to look at what the context says. It says, "He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men." So yes, it's a language. What language? It's a language of the Holy Ghost. It's the language of the Holy Ghost. And it's not me saying that. The Bible says that. Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, I believe in the whole Bible. Do you believe in this verse? I believe in verse. So, why don't, now that I answered your question about tongues, can you tell me, does this tongue speak unto men or to God? It says what the Bible says. Speak unto say? God. Speak, speak unto God. God. So, what language does God speak? I would say, I, I would say the paleo, Hebrew. Hebrew? Absolutely. Okay, so, every, uh -huh. so can, you, can you fluently speak in paleo, Hebrew? Not, not off the top of my head. So you don't got tongues. So if, if, if God is... I have tongues. That's not the point. God, okay, you just said in your own words. Can you speak fluent Greek? Sorry? Can you speak fluent Greek? You saw it four years, right? Not not modern Greek. Uh, oh, oh. Can you I, speak Greek? Period. Can you say modern Greek? No, I, I, I can read out of Greek. Can you speak it fluently? Can you no, because they're dead languages. Nobody the Bible speaks, uses it. Nobody speaks out of Greek. But the Bible uses it. You know what, you know what dead languages means? <laughs> These people actually speak no, it. No, just tell me. I want to, I'm testing speaking, your education level. Speaking, I'm testing your education level. Don't run. I'm not Do you know what it means? I just asked you if you speak and you said no. Hold on, hold That's on a the second. point. Just hold like on a second. Speak Hebrew, Did, you don't speak Greek. That's the point. Hold on a second. Oh, God, I said I could read it. But listen, listen. And I can read Hebrew. Okay, good. God says you shall speak in new tongues. Do you speak in Paleo Hebrew? Of course. You speak? I just said that. So you can speak fluent I, I Paleo say, Hebrew. I didn't say fluent. I said I can speak it. Okay. So, just like you, you, you told me that you learned it, but whatever. it wasn't a spiritual gift. Huh? Did I, I asked, that? Did I say that? You're on, you're on live stream. Did I say that? You did. I don't speak what? You said you learned Paleo Hebrew. It wasn't a spiritual gift. I didn't say it wasn't a spiritual gift. Why are you, why are you trying to lie? That's what you said on, on camera. I didn't say that. So you're taking that back. It wasn't a spiritual gift. What, I, what are you talking about? We're talking about that. tongues. Are you trying to tell me, hold on, are you trying to tell me on the day of Pentecost, everybody spoke in Paleo Hebrew? Who said that? Well, you just said that to play a game. No, no, no. Wait, wait a second. Acts 2. Give me Acts 2. No, no, don't run. Don't run. No, you said Acts 2. Don't run, man. Don't run. Don't run. We're dealing with the tongue situation. You're trying to say Acts 2. I didn't say What's going on here, man? Stop it. You guys came here to challenge me. You're trying to say something I didn't say. I didn't come for you guys. Listen, you're trying to say something. You're trying to say something I didn't say. Okay. That's what happened. Okay. Check back the track. You got your video to Are you live streaming or are you just holding it? No, we're not live streaming. How come you guys don't live stream? Just in case you get school and you don't want to upload yeah, it? That's what? Lying. That's what you just did. You just did that. You just did that. You just did that. You know you did. Everything I do is live stream. No, no, you just did that. Right. 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 No, you did that. Hold on. You did that earlier. What? When you went to Toronto, you did with Sakari, you edited that video so bad, you sent it to Sanetta, it was 27 minutes long, but it was over an hour. Okay. Don't lie. Hold on. Don't lie. Can I answer that? 
Don't lie. Can I answer Did that? you edit that video? Can I answer it? Did you edit the video? I, I want to answer it. Can I answer it? I, I, I want to ask you something. No, I, no, no. Don't lie. Okay. Did, you, did you edit that video? Did you edit the video? Can I answer you? Please. Okay. Can I, let me answer you without you interrupting me. Because I'm Don't ask me any right question. Now. Don't ask me a question. I'm going to tell you something. I live streamed, I'm the only live person that live streamed, and I never took down the live stream. The reason why you guys even have my live stream is because it's from my channel. We don't have your live stream. We record every week. What are you talking about? That's, you, from, okay. that's from Sakari's no. camera. That's it from Sakari's channel. It wasn't. Where was Sakari standing? What are you talking about? Check. We were okay. on video. You not. You weren't there. It's like we're doing that. Oh, I saw it live. Man. Oh, you didn't man. answer the question. Why do you have to keep interrupting me? Did Can you, I answer you? Did you edit okay, the video? Look, look, look. No. Were you there? Did you edit the video? I made an edited video. You edited a video, right? I made an edited video. Of course I did. The, uh, dialogue, no right? one was denying that. Right. It's on the video, you, it says, I made an edited answer. video, but can I answer you? Right? I just want to clarify. Why doesn't this guy want me to answer him? Is like, you afraid of the real yeah, answer? Exactly what are you talking about? Can I answer you? I didn't ask you five times. Can I answer, answer you? How many? What is this? What are you talking this about? is a contentious spirit right now. I'm not here to argue with you. I have nothing to hide. You're hiding. Can I answer you then? If I'm hiding, why can't you let me answer you? I thought you already answered. Go ahead. Crazy. Look, I live streamed. I never took down the live stream. It's a three-hour video, not a, not a one or two-hour video. It's still there. Now, if you look, listen, if you look at Sakari's video and you look at mine, what you're going to realize is the exact same footage. It's my footage that they use and they cut up to put on their channel. Look at it, then. Just look. Okay, you, don't, you weren't there. Listen, just look at it, and if I'm wrong, I will publicly apologize. They were recording. They were, but it, it was weird because. Oh, they were recording. I thought we got your live stream. I thought we got your live stream. Listen, you're not listening, man. I am listening. They were recording, but they never uploaded it. They used my stuff and uploaded it to their channel. And if I'm wrong, I will publicly apologize. I'm not a liar. You weren't there. But all you need to do to verify whether I'm lying or not is check the footage. Sure. And if you check the footage and it's the same. It, if it's the same footage, all I'm asking you to do is publicly apologize too. It's on your channel, right? Your channel? It's on my channel. What's your channel called? Christ's Forgiveness. Oh, okay. I think I, I think we uh seen that before, but okay. okay. So so to answer your question about my edited video, yes, I made an edited video an edited with video. the highlighted points that I made. Oh yeah, so that, of course. Of course I made it. It's my channel. I'm not going to give the devil any room on my channel. <laughs> the only room I'm going to give you is my live stream. Of course. And guess what? Of course. There was a guy, who a neutral guy, I don't know, this this African guy, I don't know what his name, maybe he's a Hebrew to you guys. He looked at the video, he saw the live feed, and he saw my feed, and he made a, a, an exposed video on you guys, and he said, look, I watched both videos and it doesn't make a damn difference. This is his words. He schooled them anyway. Yes, oh, you, you made a point about... Listen, you, you made a point... Why'd you, edit, I, why'd you edit it then? Just to highlight your points. Yes. Why, why'd you do it? Because my points made sense and your points oh. didn't. Because it, it follows your own ideology, of course. Why wouldn't you? It's my channel. Now, why does, you? I want to ask you something. Does Sakari edit videos? Sometimes, yeah. All the time, almost. <laughs> why wouldn't we? Sometimes it's... Oh! This guy's a joke. Are you gonna be out here? I don't wanna speak to someone higher than you, man. This is this is joke. The point is, bring the best you got, man. The point is, the point is, you're a joke, man. You're a joke. You know why you're a joke? Because we're talking about edited videos, but you guys make edited videos. So when you're an issue with your points, come on, man. Get off me, man. Come on, man. Even your own point is no you. Point of contention is any of the points that you got embarrassed at. That's the point. No. We don't edit. No. Can I answer that? Can I answer? No, no. What we say? I'm here. This point didn't make sense. I'm not afraid. Ridiculous. Let me answer you. That's ridiculous. Can I answer you? I didn't answer your question. I said you. I said you edited the videos to prove your point. Yes. And cut out his parts because it didn't make sense. Didn't That's make what sense. No. What didn't make sense about it? He's preaching false doctrine. Oh. Uh, why don't you get it? Why don't you expose him? Just let it go. Because it was the live stream's still there. All right, we'll, we'll check on that. Not a problem. I want to address what you're doing. Check on it now. Check on it now. Come on, bro. No. You don't have time for that. Right you don't have time for that. That's why. Yeah. 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 This guy doesn't have time for it now. You're running. You're running. Take, During a live dialogue? Take, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we want we want to clear this up so that nobody's lying. Who? Who? Look, look, no, I'll show it to you. No, we have time. I'm not running anywhere. You are. I got time. I got time. I got a lot of time. I got ten days. I got ten days here. So I got all the time in the world. I don't have a job tomorrow. I'm, I'm here. Look at look at right here. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm going to show you the video. It's called a white. Uh, can I can I come over sure. here and show it to you? Hallelujah. Is that public? Hallelujah. A white a woman. Uh, it's called it's called a woman, a white man, and David Lynn boot out Toronto Sakari Hebrew Israelites. Two weeks ago. Cool. This is a three-hour video. It's public. Thirty-five thousand K views. It's been up for two weeks, and it's always been there. Cool. And then you edited a video to single out the points that you thought. I, I, I singled out the points that That's I made, about. which I felt that needed to be addressed and put cool. out. All right, great. But the live stream's there. Great. So do you see the live stream? Great. Is it real? Yeah. Is it cool. privated? No. Is this edited? I didn't say that. I think you made it edited. Okay. That's why I proved my point. So now we, we settle the facts. So no, no, it has something to do with it. You know why? Because I made an edited video. But I didn't hide the truth. The whole three hours and 21 minutes. How long did you talk to him? The whole three hours and 21 minutes I left on the channel as evidence. It's even on my edited video. Watch the whole video. On the edited video, I said, this is the live stream. And I made it very clear. Do you want me to read the note I made about the edited video? How long did you, Actually, how let me, long did you talk to him? Let me just straighten this out so that we can move on. How about that? So this video is entitled False Hebrew Israelite Doctrine, because you have a false doctrine, sure. gets exposed. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. The highlighted note yeah. on the top, and I just want you to bear witness because I'm not a liar. This is yeah, what it says. It's, no, I'm not a liar because I'm here showing it to you. It's a pin note. Made this shorter 30-minute clip to highlight the points that were made. The other video was three and a half hours long and it's still public and online for the world to see. Anyone who watches the full and edited videos comes to the same conclusion. The self-proclaimed Hebrew Israelite with the pink dress and robe or Pakistani dress got schooled and was booted off the corner. At roughly the 29 minute mark, we see exactly what happened. The white Jew got offended and refused to let me talk and said it a few times because he knows he is mixed and has European blood like many of them. This is where the congregation, the conversation ended. He couldn't carry on the conversation. You could even see the friends' faces a few times in both videos looking at him as he wasn't doing so well. The sound quality of the video was really bad. Sorry about that. Enjoy. Full unedited video, further breakdown. Is that there? Right. Is it there? Of course. Thank you. Okay. So, so now, All right, great, great. I'm not lying. So anyone that watched the edited video knows where to get the full video. So I'm not hiding anything. Would you agree with that? I agree with the information you presented, yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. God bless you for being honest. Of course, it's right there. Okay. I'm not a liar. I mean, I'm so I'm so why, did, why did you falsely accuse your brother? No, I said you, you created an edited video. video. No, I have. You said I'm hiding or I'm running or I'm hiding information when I'm not. It's right there. That's not what I said. Okay, That's so said. so now you said. realize I'm not hiding. I didn't, say, I, I didn't say anything about hiding information. I said you made an so edited I, video. That's all I said. So I'm not hiding. I said you made an edited video. Okay. Am I hiding? Said. Am I hiding the whole no. video? Okay. I didn't okay. Good, good, good. So for all the security Israelites that. there that are typing on my YouTube stream and going out like I'm hiding the truth and I'm I'm hiding. It's on the video. It's not, about the, it's not you hiding the truth, it's about you editing the video. Yeah, I'm hiding editing your, somehow, your side. I, I, but I wasn't, but I wasn't hiding. But I wasn't hiding your friend's stuff. So let's go back to tongues. Let's go back to tongues, and then we're gonna go back to Acts chapter two, and then we're gonna get to know. This is the topic for tonight. Who are the Gentiles that he's speaking to? Like, I wanna, I wanna ask a, a we're gonna get to that. Do you want to get to that wanna, today? Yeah, of course. I okay. want to ask a quick question. So, so no, no, don't ask that. a question until we finish the tongues. Sure. Until we're done that, okay? So the tongues. We know in verses 2, He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto man, but unto God. Speaks unto who? God. Speaks unto who? God. God. For no man, no man, no man. say it again. No, no man. man. No understands flat. him. Understands him. Does, when it says no man, does that mean some men understand him? No. Does that mean 
The Hebrews understand him? No. Does that mean the Greeks understand him? No. Or the Hellenistics understand him? No. No man. No man. Somebody say no man. No, no man. man. So tell me, you know Hebrew, Pelaic Hebrew. Do people understand Paleo Hebrew? Paleo Hebrew? Paleo. Do people, do people understand Paleo Hebrew? It's hard to You understand it. You understand it, right? Of course. I don't. But this says no man understands this tongue. So who's lying? You or the scripture? Lying about what? Am I? Am, am I, I, I about paleo are we Hebrew. speaking the same language? You? You about we paleo can't Hebrew. communicate <laughs> unless we speak the same language. Of course. It says here, he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men but unto God for no man understands him albeit in the spirit he speaks mysteries wow you said you said as a Hebrew that's supposed to be teaching the fullness of the Word of God you said these tongues are Paleo Hebrew because no, I didn't. God speaks yeah, didn't. Paleo Hebrew I said this man is speaking to God, and I said, what language does God speak? And you said, probably Paleo Hebrew. So what that means is that these unknown tongues, because he's speaking to God, he's speaking Paleo Hebrew. Unless, maybe I got you wrong. Maybe I got him wrong. That's not what I said. Now, I want to ask you, what language is he speaking? It's an unknown tongue. There you go. I, I agree with that. Who, who, who understands the language? No, but according to the Bible. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's move on. Let's move on. You, 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 you skipped about five, six verses in the same Do you want to keep going? We're going to read it. Let's keep going. Why are you skipping from two to, to oh, eight? Lord have mercy. That's crazy, man. <laughs> so now, okay, just for the record, you. before we go on, before the record, because I'm not running, I can read the whole Bible. So we can sit here all day. You, you skipped hold about hold seven up. verses. Hold on, hold on. That's not how you read the Bible. That's Amen. crazy. Amen. Amen. That's how you guys read the Bible. No, no, you guys sure. pick a verse from Amos chapter nine. Like this one, and, and you read John three sixteen. That's my chapter. Okay, every, every but time. anyway, listen. We're gonna read the whole yeah. thing because I'm not running. But I, I want to read. But before, before we even read it, can I, I just chapter. ask you something? You been asking questions. I want to read the chapter. No, I just want to clarify. I want to read the Bible, bro. Man, I want to clarify something. So we're on the right page. Like, what's that? Go ahead. I want to know we're on the right page. Uh, do you agree that this? Unknown tongues is speaking unto God. Do That's you, what the Bible says. Do yes. you agree with that? Of course. I agree with the Bible. And that no one understands it. That's what the Bible says, yes. Good. Okay, now you can go. Go ahead. 1 Corinthians 14 and 2. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not it unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesied speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. But he that prophesied edifieth the church. I would that ye all speak with tongues. I would hope that ye all can speak in tongues, really? But rather that ye prophesy. So instead of ye speaking in tongues, prophesy instead. That's what Paul says. Read. For greater is he that. For what? Greater is he that prophesies. Greater is he that what? Prophesies. That does what? Then he that speaketh with tongues. So it doesn't matter if you speak in tongues, because it's better to prophesy. Read. Right. Except he that interpret. Except he that interpret. So nobody can interpret it. It doesn't mean a damn thing. Read. That, that, that the church may receive edifying. That the church may receive edifying. This is the church, according to you, right? This is the church, according to you? So oh, everybody who's speaking. Those, those who are saved, yes. Everybody here is saved? I don't know that. For sure. Do you know that all these people here are saved? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You, read, you, read about, you want to read? Go ahead. Read, 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 read the whole chapter. Read, 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 no, read we're not going to read the whole chapter. I just want to. You skip five verses. The verse that we just read. Well, you, you did it on purpose. Keep reading. Keep reading. Read. Keep reading. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues. If I speak in tongues, read. What shall I profit you? What shall I profit you? <laughs> What's that going to do for anybody? Oh. Nothing. Read. Watch your mouth, brother. Except your mouth. I shall speak. To you, either by revelation uh -huh. or by knowledge or by prophesying Read. or by doctrine. Those are going to edify people, not just speaking gibberish. Read. 
And you even things yeah. without in their life giving yeah. I'm not blaspheming any holy ghost. Yeah, you are, sir. That's a false witness. I'm not blaspheming any holy ghost. Me, whether pipe or hard or accept, they give a dis distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known what is pipe or heart? For if the trumpet give it the uncertain sound, the trumpet give an uncertain sound, making comparison to the unknown tongues, read. Who shall prepare himself to battle? Who shall prepare himself to battle? Who's going to pipe from that? Who's going to know when to go to war? That's amazing comparison. So you skip them verses on purpose because I just said it doesn't prompt you anything. Don't be a false that's witness right. against that's you. That's what I said. Are you, you just accused that's, me. No, I didn't accuse you. I'm reading the Bible. You said I skipped those verses on purpose. Of course you did. We read that Bible. So you read them. Read them. So you know that for sure. Yeah, I know. Didn't I tell you to read the whole chapter? Of course, well, I'm reading. So you didn't read why? those though. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't wait, read wait, those though. I'm you sin. Your whole what's movement sin? is full what's, of sin. What sin? Yeah. What sin? But I tell you what's what, sin? you just falsely accused me. No, I didn't. You said I I was skipping those verses on purpose. That's what you said. Yeah, yeah. That's accusing. Yep. Do you know that for sure? I know that for a fact. You know that for a fact when I just told you to read the whole chapter? <laughs> you wouldn't read the whole chapter, of course, because you skipped the verses on purpose. Oh. You see that? Read? Keep <laughs> so, reading. I skipped so, the verses read on the Bible. Bible. We're reading the Bible. Bible. We're reading the Bible here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you speaking to? This is a devil. This is a devil. Yeah, a devil. You know he's of a devil. Yeah, yeah, you know. Read. You know. Except you know. You know. know. I, I, that's no, a, I just you told it. Hey, I told you. There's something that. inside of you. God wants to save you. God wants to save you. Get out of this cult. Get out of this cult. You can hear it with your own eyes. You can hear it with your own eyes. If you want to be Hebrew, that's wonderful. the Bible? You can be Hebrew. But this guy's lying in front of your face. David, are you an Edomite? No, I'm not an Edomite. Okay, not a problem. Are you? Except the other. You're very light skin. Don't tell me you're a dark skin. Oh, let's, let's, let's pause. No, 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 different no, shades. no. We're reading the Bible. Where, where do you see the Bible? Where do you see the Bible that they're different shades? Stop. Stop. Tell me. Give me, um, give me, uh, uh, Jose, read. I want to uh, bring it up. Bring except we utter by the tongue words easy to be understood. How shall it be known what is spoken? You're not speaking words easy to be understood. What, what do we understand? So, in other words, you don't speak in tongues. Can we finish? You don't have the spiritual gift of tongues. Read. For ye shall speak into the air. There are, it, it, there are, it may be, so many kinds of persons in the world, and none of them is without signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I know not the meaning of the voice, the unknown tongue, read, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian. Speaking a barbarian, that's what he's speaking, read. <laughs> and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. He's gonna be a barbarian unto Paul. If he's speaking unknown tongue and he can't understand, read the word of the We don't get to that. Go ahead. Even so, yea, for as much as ye are zealous or spiritual, zealous or spiritual gifts, David Lynn, read. Seek that ye may excel to edify the church. Exactly. It's better to edify the church by prophesying, teaching them. Not speaking in tongues, do you? This is the last verse you read. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may, in, may interpret. So even though no man can understand it, pray that somebody can interpret it so he can understand it for a purpose, unless you're a barbarian. That's what he just so, said. Right. I'm not blaspheming the Holy Spirit. I'm reading yeah, exactly are. what Paul said. So you didn't disprove anything I just said because yeah, I told you that song, speaking in tongues from the beginning was your spirit is praying unto God. Exactly. And the Bible clearly... I, I hate that part. Hold on. And the Bible, you said the premise is glossosalia is only languages towards people. That's what you said. I don't hear that part. What did you say? Okay. You said gloss, glossosalia, the word for tongues or languages, mm -hmm. is only initially, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll allow you a backtrack, only speaking unto men in their languages. But then... A, I a certain dialect, a certain dialect. That's but then I told you that that's not always the case because exactly. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verses 2 says, He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men. No man understands him. He speaks unto God. He that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself. And, mm -hmm. and, and I, I want to read the verse that I didn't complete great, great. when it comes to speaking in tongues. Am I right so far about Sorry. speaking in tongues? That's what it says in the Bible. Yeah, of course. So I'm right now. That's what the Bible says. So I'm right. So it says here in the Bible says 
Who are you? Are you one of the are you one of the teachers here? I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you. You gotta speak Hebrew. Are you with the kid Hebrew? Is this the Hebrew Israelites? Are you I don't know what it is. Okay, so it's the same thing with that guy interrupted. Alright, so I, I, just for the record. I love my brothers, I love everybody. But listen, let, let's have a reasonable dialogue. Okay? So so from verses 13. I don't know if you read that far yet, but yeah, it says, verse, verse 13. Yeah, we read let there. him that speaks in an unknown tongue pray that he might interpret. For uh -huh. if, verses 14, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays. Somebody say spirit prays. Spirit. 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 What does the Bible tell you to pray in? The flesh or the spirit? Spirit. spirit. I'm asking you. In that context, it's, Any context. It, didn't, it didn't say in particular uh, uh, spirit or flesh. Because the Bible but, tell but you, it, it says, I'm asking you a specific, don't run. I'm not running. I'm asking, asking you a specific question. question. Does the Bible instruct you, even command you, to pray in the flesh or to pray in the spirit? You're automatically praying in your flesh. What are you talking about? This guy doesn't have the spirit of God. Lord have mercy. It says God already knows what you're going to pray before you I'll say anything. I'll ask you the question one more time. If I pray in my mind. I'll ask you the question. That's why I'm telling you to come out. He can't answer this question. Right. I say it's Does the Bible tell you, I'm going to ask you, does the Bible tell you or command you to pray in the flesh or pray in the spirit? Show me that in the Bible. Do you know the answer? Show me that in the Bible. Please. Do you know the answer? Jude and Ephesians. Show me the Bible verse. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse, please. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse. Do you know the answer? Show me the Bible verse where it commands to speak in the spirit. Show me that. We know the answer. None of them can answer. None of them. Because you're of your father the devil. I'm going to show you. Show me that. Show me where it commands to speak in the spirit. You don't know this? Show me where it commands to speak in the spirit. Wait a second. Do you know? Yes or no? If I'm speaking, I'm speaking in the spirit, period. Okay. No, no. That's the point. Let me ask you something. Where's the command? You just said speaking in the flesh. I, 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 I didn't I'm gonna, say that. I'm going to ask you something. Because flesh and blood can't inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. What does that mean? They that worship him that must mean? worship him in spirit. In truth. And you worship we'll, him we'll, the we'll flesh. Who said? You did. You just said that, I'm brother. Who said that? What did you guys do? Lord have mercy. I don't think this is going well for you. Yeah. Why are you adding to what I'm saying? I didn't even say that. I don't know this is going well. Hey, hit him with that scripture, Ephesians and Jude. Who said that? Who said that? Who that Jude on him? Madness. Madness, man. I said when you pray, you're automatically playing in your prayer. I asked you a specific question. When the Bible tells you, you when the Bible tells you or commands you to pray, does it does it command you to pray in the flesh? Or in the spirit. Let's read the oh, words no, no, of Christ. Jump to another verse. No, we're reading the words of Christ. How he commands people to pray. Let's see if it says pray in the spirit. It was a specific question: flesh or spirit. Where does it say that in the Bible? Show me that in the Bible. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, hold on. Show me that in the Bible. Don't read nothing until until we deal with this. Okay. Show me that in the Bible. Don't run and don't jump until we deal with it. I told you to show it to me. I'm okay. waiting. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Thank you. Thank but I just want to ask you a quick question. Do you know? It, do you know if it if it says anything about that? I have, I'm not familiar with that. If that's the case. Because okay. it doesn't say that specifically. Okay. So you don't know when when your friend it say about listen in the, when your okay you don't know when your friend in Toronto asked me a question about the Edomites, uh -huh. I say I forgot. Yeah, I did okay. because I I did an extensive research and I don't go around studying or, or or talking about Edom all day because I'm not a racist. You guys are. God's racist. We're not racist. Wow. Yeah. Are you a racist? I'm, I'm exactly what God told me to be. Are you a racist? Israelite. Israelite. God's a racist. Are, are you a racist? Of course. Hey. Absolutely. Okay. What's a racist mean? What's racist mean? Ephesians chapter 6, verses 18. Come on. Read. Get it in your Bible. No, we're reading Matthew 6. What Christ said. <laughs> He's right. Again. You asked me a question to show you. Yeah, you showed I'm me. about to read it. Go ahead. Why are you telling me to read it? Show me. Because you just tried to jump to Matthew 6. No, no, I'm not. I told you to show it to me. It's taking you so long to get to it. This is a spirit right here. You're taking so long to get to it. I was just preaching the word, and then you said Matthew chapter 6. You didn't preach anywhere. You've been teaching rhetoric. That's what you're saying. You're you're, you're trying to interpret and say things that Watch I Watch this video back, Sounds though, like man. A Watch it back. I will. That's God speaking to you. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 6, verses 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the 
Spirit! Does that mean speaking an unknown tongue? Let's continue. Does that mean speaking an unknown tongue? Let's continue. No, does that mean speaking an unknown tongue? Does that mean speaking an unknown tongue? Let's continue. Does that mean speaking an unknown tongue? It can. Prove it. I just did it. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. He that speaks an unknown tongue. Is that a commandment? Speaks unto men. Is that a commandment? Not unto men, but unto God. That's commandment, right? That's commandment, right? Whoever speaks in an unknown tongue. That's commandment. He prays. When he's praying in the spirit, he's praying. The tongues is praying in the spirit. So that's, that's what it says. That's commandment, right? You just asked me to prove it. That's commandment. That's commandment. That's commandment. Let's, let's go back. You, is that a commandment? Yes or no? Yes, it is. So I sin if I don't do that. If you don't pray in the spirit, yes, you sin. You're in the flesh. You're adding to the Bible. That's crazy. Okay. Show me it's a sin if I don't do it. Watch this back. Let's see what Christ says. Okay, no, 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 wait, wait a second. No, 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 you didn't talk for five minutes. Let, stop, stop. You don't want me to answer your praying in the spirit, because there's more. There's you're more verses. That's what you're saying. No, 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 no. no. You're saying what you're saying because oh, you don't more. know Greek. Now there's more. You, you don't know prove. the Greek language. That's a command. When you hear, thou shalt not steal, that's oh. a command. So Paul said that in Ephesians? Yes. What? If you read the Greek, but wow. you don't, all you know is strong importance. But you don't not. know the grammar rules of Thou Greek. Shall not. Okay, show it. Right. Read so what it that. says here. This is Matthew 6 and 5. Let's read the words of the Christ. You want to jump? Read. This is read. No, we're not jumping. Catch it. Catch it. The Messiah's you want to finish or no? We're going to read the Messiah's No, word. you wanted me to show you scriptures where it commands you to pray in the Spirit. You just try I'm to reading feel. it, you just but now you're jumping and you're running. Read them. Why is your brother and running? Prayers. Hey, young man. Can that read Mexican read brother. Why is he can running? Read the Why is he running? David. Why is he running? David. David. Can I finish? David. No, you're being rude because I'm not finished. I reply to your response. Can I finish reading the verses? And now you realize you haven't answered. Can I finish reading the verses? Can I finish reading the verses? Are you still in Ephesians? Can I finish? Are you still in Ephesians? You just you just gonna obey your master? David, are you still in Ephesians? Can I finish reading the verses? Are you still in Ephesians? Can I finish reading the verses? Wow, man! Can I finish reading the verses? David, you're talking to me, David. This guy's just obeying his master. They're following a man. David, his mixed his mixed master. This is madness. European lineage. Do you know that? Do you know you have European lineage? Do I? Yeah, you do. Is that an assumption? Is that an assumption? It's a very clear, factual assumption. What am I, what am I mixed with? Some kind of European. Are you mixed with European? I have European in me too. Is your father I European? I all of you guys Is your father European. European? That doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Let's matter. read this. I think... Don't change the topic. You know, Don't change the topic. To okay, can I finish? That. Can I finish? You just try to change the topic. No, you've been I want to read the prayer of the Spirit. I'm reading the words of Christ. Y'all believe in Christ, right? Like you believe in Christ? Okay, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna subject myself you. for you to reading you. something that's off topic. No, we're not reading. Go ahead and read. Go you're ahead. Not, just know that you ran. No, no. Sakari, what is it? San Francisco <laughs> ran. This guy. Go ahead. Didn't he call one verse? Ephesians six nineteen. That's all he quoted, right? Now it's more verses. Are these? Stop. Right, so read so Matthew verses. six and five. Did you, did you see that? When thou prayest, so you read the words of Christ. Whatever no, devil is, is here. You read the words of Christ. Selective hearing. Selective hearing. I, I said I have more verses. After I, after I said you're wrong. Young man, I have more verses. You just lied. Why aren't you looking this way? You just lied. The devil is making you, you run. You just lied. The devil is making you, you guys run. I, don't I have more spirit. verses. That's not in the law anyway. Verses. Can I read more verses? So Paul adds to the law. Can I finish? Paul adds to the law. Can I finish? Does Paul adds to the law. Can I finish? Does Paul adds to the law. He doesn't want me to finish. You're just cutting me off. Because you know the hey, scripture is going to give him a beat there. Go ahead, go ahead. Preach Jesus. Preach Jesus. Go ahead. Thank you. Jesus. I, I, I hope so. Thanks. And when thou prayest, when thou prayest, read. Who's speaking? Christ. Who's speaking? Christ is speaking. Read. Christ. Matthew 6 and 5, read. When thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. Hypocrites were here earlier today. Read. For they love to pray standing. What is everybody talking for? Can we read the words of Christ? Read. read, read the for they love to pray standing in the synagogue. Where else? And in the corners of the street. People were praying earlier, right over there. Read. That they may be seen of men. They were seen of men. They want to feel like they're important. Read. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. They have your reward. You're praying in the street. He's talking about our God. Huh? He's out. I'm sorry. What was that? You know, you're talking to something totally different. No, he said his commandment to pray in the spirit. Christ doesn't say that. Read. But thou, when thou prayest. When you do pray, doesn't say pray in the spirit. Read. Enter into thy closet. Enter in your closet. Read. And when thou when thou hast shut thy door, pray unto thy father, which is in secret. And the father 
which seeth in, in secret shall reward thee openly. Read on. For when ye pray, ye use not vain repetitions. Oh, ye's vain repetitions, read. Right? As the as the heathen do. What's that? For they think that they shall be heard for their much praying for, praying for someone. Well, your, your own brother is going on at something different. So now now you feel that you could change the topic when your own master is preaching. <laughs> And you want to show a video. So so can we can we So since you want to be the leader and interrupt your leader, bring that video because you were interrupting your leader preaching the word of God. You were. Are you sitting now? Kill out. Kill out. No, 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 no. They were showing me a video while you're preaching. Your people are out of order. Get your camp in order. That that's why that's why ISUPK don't re don't represent you. Because they think that you guys are a renegades. They think they're renegades. You guys are a renegade group. That's you have the same Edomite doctrine, but ISUPK doesn't agree with you What's the Edomite doctrine? What's the Edomite doctrine? Let's not go there. Let's finish oh, oh, why? Well, you brought it up. What's the Edomite doctrine? Are these guys for real? What's the Edomite doctrine? <laughs> Answer the question. What's the Edomite doctrine? Your Edomite doctrine, What's the Edomite is, doctrine? That, is that the Edomites are the white man in Europe, yeah. and they're the ones that are going to be your slaves. Some of you guys say different things. You say they're going to be totally destroyed, and then at one point you say they're going to be your slave. That's your, that's your, that's your Edomite doctrine. So is EBKT said? Is EBKT said? Oh, yeah, they, they teach that. So they have an Edomite doctrine just like us, right? They're yeah. They separate from us But they think you're renegades. How? Which is the same thing. Because your people are out of order. Right. That's not the point. Are, are you anyway. not paying attention to the things I'm saying? That's the Edomite, so being out of order is the Edomite doctrine. It's what you think. That's, that's an Edomite. So white on, man, the white man made it up being out of order. That's what that's what it says? It doesn't make any sense what I'm saying. Somebody pray for this brother. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. You just made up something. That's crazy. Did, you, did, you, did, you, did your parents grow up yeah, in a no. church? What's that? Did your parents grow up in a church? My mother, I, I was I was raised by my mother. My mother was in a church frequently, yes. What about your father? My father wasn't around. Wasn't around. Do you, do you, do you, do you feel important by being in this group? I, this is my calling for the most high, of course. Okay. Listen, my friend, I don't know you, and I, and I have no ill intent towards you. Neither do I. But, but if we're talking and we're going to reason, like, we, we got we to gotta kind of be reasonable. We are being reasonable. Right. So You were talking to me while I was trying to read the Bible. Yeah, no, That's no, no, not no. reasonable. You, you, you cut me off when I was talking to Reed about yeah, praying in the Spirit. I asked you a question in between after you read your verse. And I said, let me finish the other verses about because you said that there's a command. And then you said you said, is that a command? And then you start going on. And I'm telling you it is a command, and you don't read Greek to know that it's a command. Okay. Show me so, the command. Show me so, the command. Go ahead. Okay, good. So Paul, just, just a little the Paul, the Paul's allowed to make new commandments. Crazy. Uh, no. Yeah, show me that. Listen Thank you. to me. Show me that. Thanks. Just, I want to teach you something because I, I know a little bit. Maybe you can learn something from me, uh, okay. and you can fact check me. Okay. Yeah. When, when, when you, uh, when, 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 when you, when you read uh, the, the Greek, and uh, you say, I'll just give you an example. Um, Don't give me an example. Go to exactly where you was reading it. Show me where it's commandment. Don't run. Well, you see, no. you're running from your own point. Oh, no. <laughs> Go back to Ephesians and show me where it's commandment. No. Yeah, I am. The same verse I gave you was a commandment. Show me that. Show me that's commandment. Anytime you hear... He says it's a sin, too. Show me that. Anytime, anytime you hear a any verse in the New Testament in Greek that says, Take this. That's a commandment. Do this. That's a commandment. Exactly. So when you hear something like... That's crazy. Oh, what? Do you believe in the word of God? No, no, hold on. Before you say I'm crazy, because you're gonna you're gonna take back those words. I didn't say you're crazy, I said what you said was crazy. Well it's true. So when you say you must be born again, that's a commandment. Okay? So when it says That's what Christ said, of course. When it says, take the helmet of God. No, that's a commandment. No, no. Show me that prayer in the spirit. Show me that. Yeah. No, that's in the same context of the verse. No, 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 why do you, you keep putting me up? That's the same. Show me something in the Greek that says. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me. He's telling them, commanding them to take and put on the helmet, pray this way. 
Okay, so that's, that's not the only verse. Oh, Show me where it's saying that I don't do that. Right. Okay. Jesus said, and you want to go back to the words of Jesus. Oh, that's, uh, we just read Jesus' word how you pray. He didn't say anything about that. So it is the same. Can you let me finish my story? Because I let you read. If you want to read it again, I can let you read. You didn't say anything earlier. You cut me off and came over here trying to Okay, so I gave you one verse that says to pray in the Spirit, which is a command. No, I'm gonna get, I don't agree, but go ahead. Okay, just, 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 just study. Tell me where it's a sin if I don't do it, though. That's what I want. The Bible says, if you know to do something and do not do it, it's a sin. Oh! Oh, really? What's sin then? Gotcha! What's sin? sin? I'll, I'll tell you what's sin. I know. Please. Please. Okay, but I don't want to get off topic, but I'll answer you right now. It's not off topic. It's on the same chapter. Let's just go back. I'm gonna, I'll answer you, and then let's go back to the, the, the spirit. Can I do that? Do you think? Okay. Sin is disobedience to the laws of God. So Paul gave a new law. 